Power. Full tank of juice, and I reckon I'm ready to take on India. to Rotang Pass. This road has changed a lot. I remember getting some soup or food along here somewhere and yeah it was so different. I don't recall all these. Oh there's a friggin Starbucks. What? Sachu, Dacha. We did all those. Keelong. Wow. I think what's also special about the ride I did with dad is that we did it all when it was dirt and we rode the Rotang Pass. I don't believe you can even cross it anymore. As it is, we're going through a bloody tunnel. Wow. There was none of this here. We started weaving up that road. In fact, I remember stopping here with dad Here we go. It's good to be back finally. Now we're back in the Himalayas. What feels like the beginning of it anyway. You know, if memory serves me correctly, and this was just a dirt road, after Dad and I crested the Rotang Pass, that was our first hit of real altitude after riding out of Delhi. And then we stopped at this one of these little villages and, and they were nothing then, they were tiny. And we're in there and I remember dad had a cigarette. We both had a shot of whiskey and it was just, it was bad news, all of it. Anyway, Dad, he wanted to stay there. I wanted to press on and get to the next town just to keep on our plan and get fuel for the bikes. And anyway, one of the effects of altitude is your mental state. You get a bit temperamental, a bit grumpy, a bit sharp, and we did. We got sharp with each other. And had a helmet comms heated argument and uh, you know it was a lot it was pretty sketchy it was getting dark it was pretty dark you could just fly off this cliff road at any point and anyway I was I wasn't happy about what dad had said and it was kind of like I just thought screw you mate and I switched the comms off and just f***ed off and let, let him sort his own sh** out and uh, yeah I think that happened on this road pretty sure it did wow this is Keelong pretty sure the old boy and I stayed here pretty sure this is where I modified the carbies In one of these, one of these joints, Padma Lodge. I reckon this will do, eh? Man, I hope these showers work. It's too cold up here for the hot showers not to be working. Okay. So here's the deal, today I'm trying to get into the Zanskar Valley, but to do that I've got to cross one of the major passes, which 
isn't such a big deal other than the fact the police control access to it and decide when you can or can't go over it so uh, I'm hoping it looks pretty clear up there but look at this the Himalaya really is like no place on earth I remember this climb I pulled up here somewhere somewhere further up this Sasachu Pass and did the Kabi mod to dad's bike this looks like the gate it's another dude on a moto and now the news I didn't really want to hear. Not ideal, but the Himalayas calls the shots, so I had to just hang out in the hotel room for another day and hopefully we can crack the pass tomorrow morning. Anyway, chance to reset, fully charge all the batteries. Even got a, got a bit of editing done on the Nepal video. Nepal, Nepali. Yeah. Patience. This is me learning patience. It's okay. I've always believed that if you travel through life with the best intentions, the world will move for you. Righto, so here's the deal. My friends I met yesterday at the checkpoint have informed me that even though they're opening it today, chances are they're not going to let motorcycles go through because it's still so treacherous, slippery, whatever. I think they're just looking after the tourists. Anyway, my new friend Arvind, has basically organized <laughs> with his good friend VJ to put our bikes on the back of the Ma is this a Mahindra? Yes, Mahindra. Yeah, back Mahindra. of the Mahindra. And we're getting escorted over the pass. You're like a rescue worker for the police here, aren't you? You go and get pull people off the mountain, VJ? <laughs> something uh, like sort that. Of. <laughs> sort of something like that. Yeah, I think we're in good hands, so we just got to get through this police checkpoint. It's as simple as that. So if we can get through, um, turns out Arvin's heading the same direction as me. More excited, I'm just waiting to cross over this check post, unload our bikes and just ride in the snow at Shinkola. Just get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we must conquer Shinkola Pass today. Fingers crossed. Sir Enfield loaded into the back of the Mahindra. Look at this, right? all the way down the mountain all these truck drivers and they're not even going the way we are they're going straight to lay on the mount, main route they've been camped there for days far out just sleeping in their trucks cooking in their trucks Yay! <laughs> they dropped the rope <laughs> we have been released onto the mountain we've been waiting for Two days. Whole days, yes, two days. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. So we are going to Shinkola. This pass is actually similar to Baralacha, and uh, this pass is like uh, from wet region to dry region. So in this Lahol Valley, there is a lot of moisture. Once you cross this pass, uh, it's a dry area. So basically, what happens because of the moisture in this area, it has a lot of snow deposit. That's why this. Uh, passes are critical. So these are the gateway to Ladakh and Zanskar. So once you cross over it, then there is all the dry area. Even the cold does not bite you much. You just have to layer up properly and that's it. VJ, 
VJ has locked the hubs and he's getting it done. <laughs> and the Mahindra, the skinny Mahindra is just getting through the rocks. <laughs> Sketchy. Sketchy. Whoa. Whoa. That is so slippery. And the truck has slipped over to the side there. We're climbing towards 5,000 metres now and the seeping roadside water has frozen over or channeled directly into the Valley River. And while there's no way we'd have been able to ride the black ice on this climb, I'm adamant in unloading my bike and conquering the mighty Shinkula Pass on two wheels. Just got Sir Enfield off the ute at 5,000 meters. He's doing a lot easier than I am. He just fired up ready for duty. So, we're on boys. We're on. Boys and girls, I should say. Arben, seriously, without your uh, contacts, and your knowledge in making this happen, I would not be on the mountain right now. So, cheers, brother. I really appreciate it. And yeah. no doubt I'll see you on the road, huh? Yeah. For sure. VJ, you really are a mountain man. You're the, you are the rescue guy. And I, we just could not have done this without you. You got me through the checkpoint. I know it's not gonna be easy, so I'll just take my time and chip away at it. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man. This is going to be interesting. Black ice, snow, more black ice. Whoa. There's some holes. Okay. Just sit down, be ready for anything. Oh, oh. Any, whoa, man, whoa. Holy shit. Here we are, the friggin' Himalayas. Well, old boy, I'm back. Whoa. I'm back. Epic, epic, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going on here, whoo, decent downhill, Let's go, Sir Enfield. This is at 5,000 meters. Gonna be a struggle. Just gonna maintain a bit of momentum and plow this. But the front wheel is just surfing on it. 
Okay, let's go, let's go. Wow. Ah. Ah. Wow. Man. It's so bright. It's so bright. Five thousand and forty meters with Sir Enfield in the Himalayas. Hi. Wow. Okay, come on. Let's go, Sir Enfield. Let's do this. Padam. A hundred and four. To Padam. Lay. Four hundred and four. Onwards. To Padam. Sir Enfield. Oh man, Gateway, we did it, we're doing it, Gateway to Zenska Valley, Shinkala welcomes you to the top, 5054 meters, this is taking everything all my concentration, all my balance, and 100% of whatever skill level I possess. Okay, just gotta relax and flow. Oh. <laughs> Big health pothole. I didn't need that. You know, now I know what Dad was going through on Baralacha Pass in the mud. For me it wasn't bad, you can just ride the mud. But this frozen valley with snow on the black ice, uphill, downhill, it's next level, man. It's next level. Okay. Just slow and flow. Bit of rear brake. Oh, it's so bright. These potholes are I really don't need them. A part of this. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Slow and flow. I got spare brake pads, so I'm just gonna cook these all the way down this hill. I couldn't give a f Wow. Man. Oh. 
I gotta rest. I gotta rest. You know you've been struggling when you're so happy to make it to a sloppy wet trail. I think we all wonder what it really means to be alive. But to me, being alive is when your brain has put you into a situation and it's up to your heart and soul to get you out of it. Sir Enfield, Sir Enfield, <laughs> I don't think poor old Arvin's getting off that mountain in a hurry, he'll be in a world of hurt right now, you know, we're all trying to bring our vision to life and it's happened, you know, and it's taught me, don't be in a rush to suffer. <laughs> be patient. It was the right thing that happened, you know. I feel good. And I reckon a day, a day down in Jispa, at three and a half thousand meters and just up and down, mucking around. prepared me for this but the one thing that got me through I think and I'll thank the old boy for this if you're up there listening thanks for passing on your stubbornness because your stubbornness my stubbornness <laughs> it's got me through a lot of shit It's got me to the Himalayas. <laughs> the fuck am I doing here on top of a mountain all by myself? Anyway, it's not over. Let's get into it. Gombok Ranjan, otherwise known as God's Mountain. The imposing solitary peak in the remote Kajak Valley is one of the most sacred sites of Tibetan culture. It 
It's good to sign myself off at the police checkpoint and leave word that another rider with a four-wheel drive should be due any time. Another epic little location in the Zanskar Valley. Um, yeah, massive day. Wow, huge day. Just hitting the waypoints, following the GPS. Um, yeah, a pre-planned route by Royal Enfield. Um, i got to ride the bike. No one's helping me do that. But um, we're coming up with some epic locations and... It looks like old mate has rocked up. The dude, uh, Ar Arvin? Arvin. Arvin. What are you doing here? That guy I met yesterday that um, organised the ute and everything. Odd that this is a pretty remote, out of the way location. On the way to the Zenska Valley, you know, on the way to Lay via the Zenska Valley. I'm a bit suspicious. He's on a new Himalayan as well. It's almost like a bit of a spy. <laughs> anyway, it's good good to have a bit of company out here. Someone another another rider. I'll go I'll go track him down soon. But yeah, got to recharge everything. Drone. You made it. How was your day on the mountain? <laughs> I was so, I thought I thought there's no way you're getting off there. Did the truck get down as well? Ah uh, yes. Yeah. He came down, he had food and then he went back. So yeah, job done. No, I really appreciate you organizing Thank you. that, dude. Thank you so um, much. Yeah, look at this joint. Is this can't be a regular stay. I thought I was just the only one here. Then you show up. <laughs> anyway, let's it's grab dinner well, later. Yes, sure. We'll, we'll sure. catch up. Yeah. I doubt they serve beer here, but we'll have a chai, huh? Yes. All right. Uh, you like namkeen chai? The local Zanskari chai. Mate, whatever. Yeah, talk, I'll talk tell me them to get you. Talk me uh, through it. Yes, namkeen chai. All, All right, we'll catch up later. Thing. Yes, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Arvin introduces me to this lovely old lady and despite her humble farming guise, she is in fact the queen of the Zanskar from a time when the Zanskar palace formed the pinnacle of the great Zanskar valley. There's not many people riding on this new Himalayan 450. I didn't think anything of it. I was staying at the same hotel. You say you have a plan, come with us. You get me up the hill, and now I thought I'm coming to some remote location, and then you show up. I'm not supposed to tell you this. 
but uh, I mean since you figured out already that I'm riding 450 Himalaya and yeah. I can help you out and all of that. So I'm here to help you and sort you out. You don't come any under any problem or anything. Your permits are sorted out. I am the one who planned your itinerary along with the Royal Enfield team. Really? So I knew exactly where you are going to stay and how you are going to, which route you are going to take. So all the feed in the GPS is also after discussing with the team. And uh, a single foreigner cannot get a permit. This is all remote areas and this all border sharing with China. Because without me, you can't get into those uh, internal trails and the beautiful locations of China. I'm pretty excited to ride with you for your rest of journey. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's nice to meet you, man. But I'll, I'll you teach you how to ride slow. You have the endurance of a horse mule and you are legend.